Spencer yeah. is now going to be playing Baby Jesus in this year's Christmas Festival. Oh. And thank you, Jax. Thank you for talking Nicholas into that. Well, you know what? You're right. Spencer's absolutely perfect for you. Okay, congratulations. But it's late. Go upstairs. You two and put on pajamas, okay? Okay. okay. But this is going to be an awesome Christmas fact of the year. Great. Come on. Night. Go, go, go. Wow. Kids are really excited about this. And you're their hero. Isn't that exactly what you wanted? Yeah. Michael's starting to see me as his ally instead of the bad guy, which is good. Tell me, you're the great, almost stepfather that talks someone into letting them use their child in an outdoor Christmas pageant. Wait a minute. It's, um, it's outside? You didn't tell Nicholas? Well, no. Michael didn't mention it to me. Well, it's not a big deal. They put a snowsuit underneath the swaddle blanket. He'll be fine. Yeah, but uh, I should probably still warn Nicholas, you know. Oh, you know, maybe you could... You could talk to him. It was hard seeing Nicholas with Spencer, wasn't it? Oh, no, Nicholas was a, uh, he's a good father, you know. You know, what happened was, uh, was, was for the best. I'm sure that you couldn't help thinking about what might have been. <laughs> you know what, actually, I was thinking about how far I've come since then. And I was thinking about the future I'm going to make with you. You hold it like this. Okay. And you sit up straight. All right. Your child's just been born. It's the happiest day of your life. You look up in the sky and you say, Look! Yonder! A heavenly host of angels! Yonder. I don't like yonder. I think yonder's way too stiff. Yeah. How about you do this? Look! Up in the sky! It's a... Superman. Okay, fine. You can stick with yonder, but you know what you should do? Cut heavenly host. It bogs the whole thing up. Look! Yonder, a band of angels. That's great. Isn't that great? Uh, Mom. Yeah, no, you might not want to cut Heavenly Host. Uh, that was uh, St. Luke. You might not want to rewrite that author. Yeah. Fine. You're doing a really good job, Michael. Seriously. You are. You are. You're I'm just trying to job. make it a little bit better, but whatever. Okay, what's your next line? Say your next line. Play, drummer boy. Play your heart out for baby Jesus. Come on. All right. We're going to go. <laughs> of all the gifts brought to the baby Jesus, yours is the one that made him smile. Because it was given out of love. Yay! That is going to be the best Christmas magic the Queen of Angels have ever had. <laughs> yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. And thank you, Jax. For what? Well, you kind of made the pageant really cool, and I've been kind of a jerk. And, okay, I don't really want to set dad, but if I have to have one, I'm, I'm glad it's going to be you. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Well, How you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so, why are you holding a golf club and he's got spoons and there's a pot there? What's going on? We were rehearsing for the Christmas budget. Oh, I get it. A staff for Joseph and a, a drum for the drummer boy. Yes, 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 yes. This is going to be cool. Jax had talked Nicholas into letting us use Spencer for baby Jesus and... He also talked Nicholas into getting a big donation. That's great. Very. Um, you know what? I need to talk to your mother for a second. Alone. That's all right. All right. You know what? It's late. Upstairs to bed. Go, go, go. Give your dad a kiss. Good night. Please. Come here and give me a big hug. Come on, buddy. Bye. All right, buddy. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good night. Good night. Give you guys a moment. Oh, it was a hug, okay? That's it. Doesn't mean that Jax is going to take your place. It's good for Morgan to get along with Jax. So if you're going to try and sabotage it, don't even try, okay? There's no way you're going to marry Jax.
Could you say there's no way I'm gonna marry Jax? Yeah, that's right. This is my life. You do not have a say anymore. I will marry whoever I damn well please. I just got back from seeing Alexis. She got me to, to agree to keep a truce with my brother. For Molly and Christina's sake, there's no way I'm going to put my children through that kind of situation. You're comparing me to Alexis and Jax to your psycho brother. Jax living with my children. I cannot do that. I don't think Jax I can do Michael that. loves Michael and Morgan, and guess what? They love him, too. Your boys accept him, and it's time you accept him. I'm not going to let Jax take my kids away from me any more than I'm going to let him take you. to do with you. She's not denying that she's using you. I'm going to make sure that my grandson takes full responsibility for your baby. That's not why I'm here. Why don't you just admit it? You want me back. 